Iran has officially presented a new version of its notorious Shad Kamikaze drone, now powered by a jet engine, rather than the previous piston propeller arrangement. The Shad 238 was also shown with new guidance systems, with radar and electro-optical infrared guidance now apparently being offered in addition to earlier Shad versions, which primarily employed a combination of inertial and GPS navigation to hit fixed targets. The Shad 238 was displayed on the ground during an aerospace achievement exhibition, organized by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, at the Ashura Aerospace Science and Technology University in Tehran on November 19. The exhibition was attended by Iran's Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei, who was shown a variety of different Iranian drones and missiles. Developed on the basis of the Shad-136 drone, which has been widely employed by Russia in Ukraine, three examples of the Shad-238 were on display, representing the three different guidance options. One of these is thought to feature an anti-radiation seeker. Although this remains unconfirmed, a similar seeker is thought to be available for the Shad-136. If correct, this version of the Shad 238 would be intended to home in on hostile radio frequency transmitters, especially air defense radars, allowing it to be used for the suppression destruction of enemy air defenses, see dead, missions. An active radar seeker is also possible. This would be a major technological boost, but the actual capabilities of it are not clear. If this is indeed an active radar seeker, it could theoretically allow the drone to hit moving targets in all weather, although how it would initially find the right target after flying a significant distance from its launch to its target area is unknown. Some sort of autonomous target recognition would be needed. Perhaps this would be most valuable for anti-surface anti-ship applications which eliminates some of these challenges. The operating mode of the version with electro-optical infrared guidance is unclear. Some reports suggest this uses a passive infrared sensor to autonomously home in on heat sources, while others describe a man-in-the-loop system, with an operator using video from the sensor to guide the missile to its target. This would also likely impose a range restriction, based on the need to maintain a link between the drone and operator throughout the engagement. It remains the case that we don't know for sure what kinds of guidance modes are actually used and to what degree they have been tested, let alone whether they are currently available. However, these guidance systems have already been fielded on other Iranian missiles and drones, so it's clearly a possibility. Interestingly, a video shown as part of the exhibition in Tehran included footage of the test launch of a Shad 238. From the roof of a moving pickup truck, although it's assumed that operational versions of the drone will be able to employ the same rocket-assisted takeoff as used by the Shad-136. The drone shown in that video is fitted with a ball-like electro-optical sensor turret below the nose. This gimbal housing suggests the sensor here is intended primarily for surveillance and possibly combined strike missions. This additional payload would further decrease the range, but that would not be a major issue bearing in mind the man-in-the-loop guidance and sensor control necessary for this type of configuration. All three of the Shad 238 drones were also finished in an unusual matte black color scheme.
While this has led to some speculation that they may have had some kind of treatment with a radar defeating coating or paint, it may simply reflect the fact that these kinds of drones are now mainly intended for nighttime attacks, as seen in the tweet embedded below. However, any kind of reduced radar signature would clearly make the Shad 238 a tougher target for air defenses. Getting rid of the exposed internal combustion engine and prop, although wood composite is typically used, will also lower the drone's radar cross-section, possibly significantly. Although, on the other hand, the jet exhaust will also contribute to a boosted infrared signature, especially when viewed from the rear aspect. While no details were provided regarding the specification of the Shad 238, the jet propulsion will ensure significantly higher speed and fast transit to target times, which is is a big factor when trying to go after more time-sensitive targets. Although, the jet engine will also impact the range, unless additional fuel capacity has also been introduced. It will be interesting to see if the warhead size has been reduced to add more fuel, even if relatively small amounts.